It has been weeks since a Columbus Catholic school teacher lost her job over her sexual orientation. In that time, support for Carla Hale has only grown. Dozens of demonstrators are outside the Columbus Diocese offices downtown trying to send a message. 10 TV's Glenn McIntyre is there live where the hacktivist group Anonymous has joined the effort. Glenn? That's right, Kristen. Things have settled down here quite a bit in the, the last hours. You can see just a few protesters remaining. For, but for about three hours today, there were dozens of people out here with the group Hailstorm Ohio rallying for Carla Hale's reinstatement. And they had some controversial company. Protesters stand outside the offices of the Columbus Diocese demanding the reinstatement of Carla Hale. They include Bishop Watterson graduates and parents of graduates. Paulette Cadmus says Hale's firing illustrates the hypocrisy of the Catholic Church. Carla Hale purportedly was fired for immoral conduct, and yet we do not find out what heterosexual teachers are doing in their personal lives. Hello Catholic Diocese of Columbus. We are anonymous. The internet hacking group known as Anonymous this week joined the Carla Hale cause with an online call to arms. It is time to occupy the Columbus Catholic Diocese. A few of the Anonymous Army turned out today wearing their trademark masks and they're threatening to expose information about Bishop Watterson Principal Marianne Hudson. Well, we demand that by Monday that there's a public apology from both Bishop Campbell and Marion Hudson for putting Carla Hale through this and that they reinstate her. And if they don't? Uh, and if they don't, we're going to release our first docs that we've collected um, on Miss Marion Hudson. People have said these tactics resort to their, their blackmail, their threats. Um, is, is that going taking this too far? Why, is, why are those tactics appropriate? Uh, we don't make threats. Uh, we stand good on our promises. All we're doing is supplying with people, supplying people with what is mostly already public information, uh, which they should know, which proves the hypocrisy in this situation. So what does Carla Hale say about the tactics of Anonymous? Her attorney says she is horrified by them. He sent us a statement saying, quote, an anonymous letter brought the personal details of Carla Hale's private life out during a time of grief. She would never wish that on anyone else, end quote. We did ask the diocese for comment. They respectfully declined. Reporting live downtown, Glenn McIntyre, 10TV News.